still on the theme of Studio Series baddies. And speaking of baddies, Studio Series Bumblebee Voyager Class Soundwave. This one is customized so it looks a bit better in robot mode because before he just looks like a cheap blue plastic blob. So now I think he looks really nice with the sort of weathering I did to it. And I filled in that blue line on his face. So now it doesn't look like he has a chunky mouth. So yeah. He's alright looking. He, I don't know why he looks like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. But he's accurate. So. So long as he's accurate. Again. $35. About the same level of quality as this guy. Jeez, he is short. Wow. Mm, every day. So, yeah, I guess we can do size comparison since I've already compared sizes. Bumblebee Prime. Not Bumblebee, Rise of the Beast Prime. Boba Fett. So, yeah. I really don't want to go to transformation because it is not not fun. It does have some clever bits unlike Rise of the Beast Optimus. Oh, he does have a shoulder cannon, but it's broke on my watch. So, it is currently being fixed. See? Here's the part of the back. So yeah, articulation, head can look up, can't look down, swivel, full 360, arm can move up here, mm. hot rod shoulder, don't really like that, and there's no joint under here, so that's not good, arm can move forward here, but the shoulder pad gets in the way, so that's not good, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow that can pull a little bit more than a 90 nothing at the wrist except sword wielding so that's fine ooh, ooh, oh. uh, hooray waist swivel like can move forward that far back that far double bend at the knee with this knee pad that can move to cover it up and the ankles are very good Swivel. Really good pivot. And toe down. So yeah, the ankles are probably the best part. So you can get him into some night. Oh, he had a gun too, I think. He did have a gun. I kind of forgot about the gun. You can get him into some sound wavy pose. That actually looks pretty good. I, I kind of like that. Oh, and he died. Yeah, so. Pretty good robot mode. I'd may not like exactly how he looks, but I won't like every figure. I can't deny if it's good or not. And now for the transformation, which I have halfway forgotten and don't really care to do. So let's get Crackle lacking. Alright, this transformation is going to take a while. So we'll start with the shoulders. Flip these loose pads up that barely stay on. These are, aha, uh -huh, and it popped off behind the camera. Plug that in, so you want to open it. We're going to, like, rotate it so it covers part of the head. Like that. And we're going to do the same thing over on this arm. Oh boy, look at that amazing engineering. There are pegs on the side of his, oh, yeah, you forgot. Open the wrist up, flip his, or open the forearm up and flip his wrist in. which I don't understand, but hey. Then you have these 
little pegs on the side here. Well, doing blue on blue is not that good. See, peg. And there are slots in his arm, which you want to get those pegged into. Ever realized how uniform the arm was? That's pretty cool. I will give the designers that. Do that on the other one. Yeah, okay. The easy part is done. This part's really cool. This folds down, and I forget, it opens like that and rotates to reveal a faux chest. What is the point of a faux chest if he turns into nothing? Anyway, uh, here rotates too, so that's really satisfying. Really like the legs, or at least how they open. They open here and here and make this, like, dumb thing. If we go over... Uh, there we go. Here it opens, and you're gonna wanna like rotate at the mushroom peg, and this all shimmy, shimmy on, shimmy on, shimmy ya, shimmy ya, shimmies up, and then that folds in, and that will like doop into place up there. Feet will get to next, so. Oh, and you want to take this part and just fold it out. So do the same thing over here. Bend it in. Like, do that thing with the feet so they just get out the way. And then you want to... And then you want to sort of just collapse everything up. you have this abomination you'll notice the arms have come unpegged as they do and then we're almost there we're almost to nothing so do that with the fronts again and then there is a tab here and a tab on the arms and you want to just somehow get those to peg in All right, and we're done. That's right, we're done. That did way too much for way too little. He turns into like a cell phone, Game Boy. Like, what is this? It could look cool, but this doesn't. It looks like a dinner plate. It looks like a sandwich. Look, he's just there on the bottom. Like, hey! It's fine. It was a fun, it was an okay transformation. More enjoyable than Rise of the Beast Optimus. But, tab in. They don't tab in. It was alright. Alright is all I can give it. And for a battle mode. What is this like? Is that a spider on it? Look at that. Hold on. Where'd it go? There it is. Look at that. Oh, he lives in Soundwave now. I don't care enough to get him out. Give me, like, Green Goblin. Godspeed, Spider-Man. <laughs> so, yeah, overall, this alt mode is not very good. Here he is with Stinger. Optimus Prime. Boba Fett. So yeah, kind of disappointing. Could have been a lot better, could have been a lot worse, like Rise of the Beast Mainline Optimus Prime. But yeah. Bad. Yeah, that's it.